Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm gonna be going over what are, what letter are we on? F, I think. I hope. I hope I didn't skip a letter. Um, and we're gonna do file folders. So I just used a printable that I had, and I used my um, my digital's time will tell, and I created file folder pages. So um, my intention is for this to go inside of like um, either a pocket or a, um, a tuck spot or even inside the insert itself um, like as a page and then, you know, um, whatnot. So anyway, that is um, my three folders. So I said that I would go ahead and cut these out because that took a lot of time last time. So I went ahead and did that and um, that way we'll have a little bit more time to decorate them and make them pretty. So um, I'm going to try to keep these pretty flat because like I said, my intention is for them to go inside the journal, but you could also put them on the outside like as a cover accent, if you will. Um, oh, this is one of the pages as well. And I printed these on copy dyed paper. Oh, this one I actually um, intended on being a pocket. So it's going to be a file folder pocket. Um, this one actually didn't print right. So it's just slightly smaller than the rest of them. Because these, you know, they're that size. And then this one is just slightly smaller. Because I don't know why, but my printer likes to grab two pieces of paper when it prints. Does do y'all ever do that? Um, and it's a new printer. Well, new-ish, I guess. Um, but I don't know. It's just, it's being ornery. Um, let me plug in my glue gun real quick. I actually unplugged it. Um, so we're going to plug that in. Um, let's see. What's new? What's happening? Um, I have some... I did end up putting up some of my handcrafted items onto the Etsy shop. Um, they seem to be a popular thing with the Etsy customers. So I put some more up there. I haven't put any of the alphabet pieces up there. So if you're waiting for that, uh, it's going to take me a minute because I'm, I'm a little behind. Uh, this schooling is kicking my booty. Because uh, I, have, I have two kids right now in school. I have one starting high school and then I have... Um, a third grader and then my oldest daughter I'm not real sure what she I don't think she knows what she wants to do like she wants to go into photography um, but she doesn't know if she wants to go to college for it or if she wants to do a trade school so she doesn't really know what she wants to do look I have my phone this time aren't you proud of me um, so there's my 30 minutes hello um, so Let's see what we can do with 30 minutes. Like, I have no plan. I have a bunch of stuff just randomly on my desk from, um, I'm going to go ahead and start it, from other, you know, other videos and whatnots. Um, so, oh, I read a comment that uh, someone was just like, you know, I wasn't sure if that gray was going to work, but I'm so glad you did it because, you know, it looks good. And... It's funny because I actually really like using grays a lot. Um, grays and blacks and um, very bold colors. I'm just, this is on my desk, so I wanted to see if I could use that, but I don't think I'm going to. Um, I think I'm just going to grab one and start with that. Is this my pocket? Yep, this is my pocket. So it's going to sit like this or like this. I think I'm going to make it like this, actually. Yeah. I'm going to do it like this. So the little tabby thing is going to be on the bottom. So anyway, how you been? How you doing? How's everybody? Um, if I use this one, I'm going to have to wait for my thingy to heat up. Because I have to glue it before I can cut it. And I use hot glue to kind of push it down anyway. Um, I actually have a good bit of little pieces 
that are like left over. Ooh, I like that green. Um, so I have some pieces that are left over from, you know, I sold out of and that's what I have left type of thing. That's really pretty. I like that. Let's put that right there. That might not be big enough. I want it to be big enough. Oh, we could put it on the bottom here and then put something across the top. Mm. Oh, the dilemma. Pretty. But I'm actually covering up my paper completely. I don't know if I want to do that. I like the dark color. Hey, come back here. Okay, well, I just dropped something. I actually really like the dark. Um, let's see. Ooh, and then there's a flower. We can put that right on top. Or even that one. All right. Are you warm? Nope. Heat up, dude. Should have done that before I started the clock, but that's okay. I'm just kind of dumping stuff out at the moment. <clears throat> um, ooh, I like that one. Well, if I'm going to cover it up, I'm going to do it this way. I don't really think it matters, to be honest with you. All right, I'm going to have to use my fabric tack until my glue gun heats up. <laughs> you make a funny sound. I'm just peeling the glue off the top. All right, we're just going to glue this down because if I keep wondering what if this and what if that, then I'm going to be here forever. All right, first let's glue my pockets. So... With pockets, I normally use wet glue. I don't use tape um, because your paper, oh, that's just flickered, your paper could get stuck on the tape. Even with the little tabby tabs, it could still get stuck. So I still like to use the wet glue. All right, we're just gonna, is it raining again? No. Oh my gosh, it was pouring down this morning. Oh, it was crazy. It's like, oh my goodness gracious. Great balls of fire. It was insane. Alright. Scooch. 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 Well, I guess that's one good thing about using a fabric tack is when you put it down, you can move it around. All right, scissors, Oy. and we, see I spent five minutes deciding on what to do, so if I don't just glue it down, I'm going to be sitting here deciding forever, and I think that's kind of one of the things that this challenge does is it kind of forces you to be a little bit more decisive, you know? You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? I really like this in with the paper. Um, let's see, what else can we do? Got the blue and add right on top. I don't like that. Um, all right, let's just do these. Oh, I wonder if I have any more of that. That would be cool. Probably not. Okay. Don't ask me what that sound was. I have no idea. Sounds just come out of my mouth. I don't really think about them. My daughter said, told me the other day, she's like, Mom, you make so many sounds when you were just sitting there doing nothing. Because I'll do it, whether the camera's on or not. I just, I don't know, I just make sounds, because it's a thing I do. I, I don't know, I've been like that for as long as I can remember. It was actually a subscriber of mine, um, her name is Amanda, and um, 
she, uh, I was on the phone with her one day, and she's like, did you know you make sound effects when you make your videos? I was like, no. I was not aware. But I am now. <laughs> and she's like, you do? I was like, I believe you. I didn't believe her. <laughs> so I asked, a, I asked a friend of mine, a longtime friend of mine, and I was just like, hey, do I make sound effects when I talk? He's like, yep. It's like, for real? He's like, yep, always have. I was like, whoa. Oof, come out. Oh, there's a bunch of this one. What the heck? I'm going to have to count that out. There's a lot of that one. Ooh, pretty. Cheesecloth. Ooh, we can cover the whole kit and caboodle with cheesecloth. Meow. No, that's probably not a good idea. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to set you aside for now. Let's grab another one. So this one's just going to be a regular old folder, tuck, you know, whatever. This one's a nice square doily. Ooh, this will be cool. This is just some fabric that I tore up and in the process learned I cannot really do fabrics, like tearing fabrics very um, much because after a while it really starts messing with my hands. Okay, we're gonna make this kind of cockeyed. Okay, because um, I don't really want it straight. I want it like that. And we're gonna use you, we're gonna make you straight. All right. <clears throat> Pardon my clearing of my throat. So, what have you guys been up to? All right, now I'm staggering my videos about every other day. Um, when I've got more, like, time, I will probably do more videos and make them to where they're every day. But as of right now, my time is so incredibly limited, I have to stagger them to every other day. Um... Ooh, pretty. Too pretty. Yep, that's a thing. Ooh. Or, could just put that right on up there. I need something. I need something down here. I just don't know what. Oh, this is already made. Blink. Do you work? Oh, you do. But you kind of cover up that pretty little thing. What about if I just did... Come off. I just did this part. Okay. I actually really like that red too. Kind of makes everything else pop. Are you going to glue now? Scrap paper, where are you? Um, I don't think I'm going to use you. Ugh. Ow! Yep. Alright, you're melted. <clears throat> What'd you got? And the reason I'm using hot glue on this one versus the other ones, one, because my glue gun's heated up now, but two, because it was put together with hot glue. So, I'm just going to add to it. And that, that flat back, uh, that's not coming off without damaging the flower. Because um, it's on with E6000. I like that. All right, so I want to put this up here, but I don't want the whole thing. I only want part of it. Nope. Oh, my thing went off. You can't see my thing anymore. There we go. I need to see my time. Get anxious. Alright, 
So I just want this part. Just an added little blingy bling. Although, too dark. Um, hmm. Can I just take you off? Uh, no, without damaging you. Alright, I have got. Um, I've got little apple cues. Come here. Oh, crap. Come on. Ugh. I just want something to go in the corner there. That's too big. That's the wrong shape. That's too big. Let's hold that for a minute. Oh, this one's different. I'm trying to imagine. This, those are two different appliques. Uh, this is a part of one. It's about twice the size. And then this is another one. Beep, beep. They're both in the shop if you're curious. Um, ooh. Yes. I like that. Help if I have the right side up. I just want like a little accent. I don't want like anything big because I don't want to take away from my pretty little doily fabric piece down here. So I'm just going to take this bad boy apart some more. And yeah, we're going to put that right here. Hmm. Or smooth it off. That's pretty too. Yeah, I think I'm gonna put it there and just leave the corner alone. <laughs> I think I'm trying too hard to put something there, and I don't think anything really wants to be there. Have y'all ever done that? It's like you really want something to work, and it's just not gonna happen. That's pretty cool. I like that. Yeah, and my nails are completely gone. Like, uh, I have to say, for being at home for this, what, last four months, five months, something like that, since February, not too bad. I still have some nails left. Not a lot. All right, um, this one here, I've got this, I don't even know what this is, but it came in something. I don't know where I got this. I'm sure somebody does. Somebody will say something. Probably. Oh, that's cool. How it like kind of goes off that away. Ooh, I like that. All right. Um, yeah, let's do that. Okay. I'm going to put a streamline down right here. And boop. Now we can glue down the rest of it um, after we cut it a little. Um, I'm going to cut that 
and that. And oh, we're not done. And oh, that. All right. So I have been um, playing in. I got a new program where I can draw and I've been playing in it. Oh my gosh, it is so much fun. Um, and I have, um, I've created word sheets so far. That's really the only thing that I've created. And I don't mean word as in Microsoft Word. I mean word as in, um, you know, how we use words on things to kind of accent them like kind, loyal, friendship, um, love, you know, stuff like that. Anyway, I'm really excited. I actually created my own brush <laughs> for the program. I was like, what? It is so not perfect. It was pretty cool though, because I'd never done that before. And I was, it was, I don't know, it was really cool. Um, I'm still learning the whole thing. Like, I don't even know how to name my brush yet. <laughs> um, it, like, the whole folder is just named test. Um, because I didn't know if it was going to work. I just knew I was playing around with it and, you know, wanted, wanted to do something. I really want to use this, but I want to cover up a lot of the dark because it is a little too dark. Um, so, about that, but I really want to use that. Ugh. Again, like you really want to use something, but it's just not going to happen. Ooh, I wonder if I can. Oh, I don't know if that's going to work. What are you? Um, you are something, but you are very thick. I don't think you're going to work for this. Uh, oh, look. Pieces of stuff. I like the stagger. I feel like maybe. I don't think that's going to work back there. Oh, I need color. I need color in my life. Oh, that's cool. Alright. Um. Oh, there's this one still. Ooh, you know, we could put this one here and oh, that covers that up completely. I'm sure you guys are yelling at the TV. I do that all the time. I'm like, no, use that one. No, don't use that one. Use that one. See, there's some dark that I can use. Alrighty. Hold that thought, mister. Hmm. Oh, there's some dark too. Kind of put that off the side here. And then where'd my trio go? I feel like 
that's too much. I like this. Okay, I'm going to glue this down. I keep putting it back. I'm just going to glue it down. Or my fingers, you know, that works too, I suppose. Alright, so glue that down. This is the other piece of that flower that I tore apart. You know, I've seen people use like sponges and such, and that is such a good idea. It's just, I never remember to do it. Like if you guys have ever watched Maggie White, she uses hot glue a lot in her, um, um, her wall pieces or fabric books or at least or doily books or whatever. Um, and she has like a little sponge or something. It's not necessarily a sponge, but sometimes it's a spatula. But either way, it's a smart idea. And do I think about doing that when I turn the hot glue gun on? No. Come on, ding dong. All right. Um, hmm. What about this really long piece here? Kind of like that, just to go right over top of that. I like that. Blip. Go off the edge just a little bit so I can make sure that it's nice and straight when I cut it. Alright. Or I can glue it down to the drop paper, whatever this thing is called. feel weird saying that, especially on camera. Because I've actually heard people say, you shouldn't say that about your own stuff. I'm like, why not? You should be proud of what you make. You shouldn't have to say, oh, that's so grotesque and ugly just because you made it. I mean, kind of seems a little counterproductive now. I don't know. I think you should be proud of what you make. So I am in the group that says you should say you like it. You know. Alright. So what's the next letter? G? Um. Ooh, we could do gel pens. <laughs> no. Um. We can do gesso. Um. I don't know. Could do shove all this stuff. All this came out of this itty bitty jar somehow. And now it's gonna all go right back in that itty bitty jar. Get in there. Um oh look, there's another piece. Oh like that's the same one. Yeah, I have to I need to count that. That's a lot. There's only supposed to be like snippets in here. There's another one. My goodness. Yeah. Anyway, there's only supposed to be like little snippet pieces in here or broken pieces, appliques that I've chopped up. Stuff like that. Fabric pieces that I've cut into shreds. Get in there. Or I don't know what that is. Look at all the glue on my hands. That's all hot glue. Because I like to touch it. Not really, but it just ends up happening that way. You just rub your hands a little bit and it'll all come off. Because it's just, you know, dried up, cooled off hot glue. Alright, so. Lovely. Alright, let's see. What do we have here and what's our time? Three minutes. I think we're done.
nine, actually. So we have this one going this way, this one going this way, and this one going this way. Which one's the pocket? This one. This one's the pocket. Shh. I got a notification. Pocket. I feel like I should put something on here, though. I'm just not sure what. I don't have any of my blingy blings close by. Otherwise, I would put a blingy bling, like, right in the middle. Um, I'm thinking. Yeah, I don't have any close by, um, but, oh, uh, maybe this might work. Okay. Oh, crap. Can you say crap on YouTube? I think you can say crap on YouTube. I hope so, because I just said it like four times. Not that it's really that bad, because I've said much worse on my live streams, but uh, I've made all my live streams private. I'm not sure if you guys have noticed that or not. I know at least one person has because they've mentioned it. See, that's cool. I like that one better. That one's got a blingy in the middle. Oh, that's cool. Film strip thing. Oh no! I just dumped the whole bag out could use one of these instead. I kind of like the flower, the bow flower. That's nice too. That's actually pretty subtle. It's not as, that's even less subtle. I like that one there. All right. So, yeah. Oi. Husband? No. I was going to say, did my husband steal my E6000? But he has his own bottle. Um, because I had bought some E6000 a while back. And um, I actually ended up giving it to him because the opening, it was too wide. Like I couldn't do anything with it because every time I tried to use it, it just like gushed out E6000. I was like, no! And my whole project was ruined. So, I bought a new bottle, um, and I don't know if that's a smaller bottle or a bigger bottle, but I know that it's a different bottle. So anyway, we're done. Time is going to go off here in about 25 seconds, and this is the first folder that I've glued together. There we go. And this is just on coffee dyed paper. Here, let me shut this off. Cancel. I don't want that going off in your ear. This, um, the dyed paper is from Miss Emily over at the Vintage Polka Dot. And all the other supplies um, have I have either sold or currently sell. Um, I don't think. The only exception is like the doilies. I do not sell doilies right now um, because I use them too much, honestly. Uh, I have a lot, but I use them in like everything I do. So when I get like a huge, huge stash, I might start selling them. But until then, it's just me. And this is a little pocket. So, um,. You, I don't have my journal handy. I, no, it's on the other side of the room. Uh, you could just set this inside of something. You could uh, tape it into your pages. You could sew it into your signatures. And this could be like your middle signature. I mean, it opens fairly nicely. Um, there's a lot you could do with it. You could also decorate the back side of it. Um, but this collection, the digital is Time Will Tell. I believe I only have pages up right now. I do not have any kind of embellishments or ephemera pieces to go with it. Uh, it's just the pages. Because um, it does take a little bit of time to do. So, um, between...
creating <laughs> creating the graphic designs, creating the uh, calligraphy, and you know keeping up the shop and the house and the schoolwork. You know, I'm a little busy these days. <laughs> so hopefully I can get some ephemera pieces to go up with these. But as of now, it's just the um, just the graphic designs. That's it. Just the pages. So anyway, um, that's it for file folders. We made file folders and a file folder bucket. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you guys next time for the letter G. Not sure what we're going to do with that yet, but we'll figure it out. And I'm sure as soon as I turn the camera on, you'll know and I'll know. So thank you guys so much for watching and y'all have a wonderful day and I will see you guys later. Bye.